In this video, you're going to learn the differences between an iron swing and a driver swing. Stay till the end, you're going to learn three ways that's going to help you know the difference and apply the difference between both the irons and the driver. So the first thing we must understand is what are we trying to do with these different types of clubs. With an iron, okay, the biggest thing we're trying to do is hit down on the ball, okay? So as we, as we come down, we're trying to hit down into the ball, hitting the ball, then the turf, taking a divot after the ball. And with a, a driver, we're trying to sweep up. So ball's on the tee, we're trying to, to sweep up. So both are very different, okay? And it's this attack angle in terms of hitting down, hitting up, is where people have problems. This is why we see so many guys that might be good with an iron, but struggle with a driver and vice versa. So understanding the difference is key here to help you be at your best with both different types of clubs. So the first element is, is in this setup. So how do we hit down on it? Well, the first thing is getting the correct ball position. So having the ball in the middle of the stance with an iron and with a driver, having it forward in the stance. Okay, so a driver is very much in this position where the ball is opposite our lead heel, iron in the, in the middle. The other thing in the setup uh, is the width of stance. So I would say roughly with an iron, you want to be about sort of shoulder width, sort of in this position here. And then with the driver, a little bit wider than shoulder width. Again, it can vary on your, on your height and your body type. You know, that might vary a little bit, um, but typically shoulder width and then a little bit wider with the driver. Okay, so point number two in the backswing. Okay, so we've got the setup, now we're into the backswing. And the key differences for me is the length of swing. So an iron, you're looking for accuracy, you're looking for precision, you're going to get that ball close to the flag. So typically I would say, an iron swing is going to be a little bit shorter than a driver swing. So what we're looking for is that full shoulder turn, getting the arms to the hands to about sort of the same height as your shoulders. That for me is roughly where you should be. Again, we know there are differences, there's short swings, there's long swings, but in terms of a direct comparison between the two, typically this backswing is going to be a little bit shorter than the driver. With a driver, it's more for power, yeah? So with a driver swing, we're looking to swing out a little bit further back, getting that shaft back to parallel, creating a full turn. If some of you haven't seen any of my recent videos, particularly the one for senior golfers, this is gonna help you get a bigger turn and get that shaft back to parallel there. So length of swing is point number two. Guys, this is, if this is your first time watching the channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. I release videos every week just like this. Now on to point number three, okay? And this is the downswing. So again, remember what we said about we want to hit down with an iron. So in terms of the downswing, the, the key thing to hitting down on the ball is making sure we're staying centered and making sure we are covering the ball. Well, what does that exactly mean? For me, it's the sternum and the pelvis getting slightly ahead of the ball at impact. Certainly on top of it, definitely not behind it, which is what a lot of people do. They tend to struggle with their low point control. We want to feel like we are covering the ball with our middle of our sternum, middle of our pelvis. So we are on top of the ball here and that's going to help you hit the ball and then the turf. And with the driver, we want to sweep up on the ball. So very different feeling. So an iron where we're looking to cover the ball and compress it, hit down on the ball, driver very different. So if we want to sweep up, then we actually need our head and our sternum slightly behind. So as we are coming down, we're going behind, sweeping slightly up on the ball, getting that ascending blow. Hope you enjoyed that guys. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Post any comments down below. Look forward to seeing you again very soon.